Hello fellow beings of Middle-earth and welcome back to the Whale of Dorwinning campaign. Today we are finally chilling a little bit. We have just defeated um, the Easterlings of Rune and we are now probably going to take on the onslaught from Warlord Orash. We do have a sufficient force in Matharam though with the Nurve the Merciless with uh, an okay amount of troops but we do have some pikemen which will be very important against Khand. We have or are building Lord, stuff in almost every place now. We have a lot of money and we're just going to start building up a trading bonanza as you guys told me in the comment section. You suggested that I just build a lot of ports and grain exchange and such and I'm going to do that because this is eventually going to be such a trading place and we're going to make so much money. So I'm also going to head out for Vintiri on the hour. Actually, I'm going to spy that out. And we should probably recruit a couple of troops here just to be able to bring it down. And we are rightly doing so. I'm also thinking about getting some troops here, sending them to the fort. Just having yes, troops available most places. Doing the same over here. Uh, or here it was, actually. Getting these troops and just going to place them in the forts. Because we, we never know when Dolgaldor is going to attack us. Let's see, we do have Lord Swain over here. Yes. Let's just Erecting build a, a tower and we're going to build more towers oh, along on. the Continue mountain range of Mordor. And I think that's it for this turn, actually. Now, in the comment section, I want you guys to comment on what character you would have been if you could be in a character from Tolkien's Legendarium. I would have been Faramir. I just like very much how he behaves. And, I'll, yeah, I find him quite interesting. Even though that would probably have been a pain. And you rather want to be an elf in Valinor. That's probably what you really want. But it's a little bit more interesting being someone else. Khan stands with the Istari. Wow, that's wonderful, actually. Uh, that actually means that we do want an alliance with Khan. I do not seek trouble. <sighs> But how do we have any diplomats here? No, we don't. We need... Wow, we don't want them to attack us, actually. We don't really want them to attack us at all. Considering what they just did. Let's just build another watchtower here. And head up uh, south, north again. We don't really want... Let's get those guys. They're probably going to attack us, which is going to suck. Because I really want to become their ally now. They are allied with uh, Dorwin and Dolamroth. That's really good because I don't really want to... I really don't want it to uh, fight Khan. Alright, let's get these guys in the fort. And let's get these to the fort as well. And Enmahad, Mataram and Karasan can upgrade stuff. Let's get the Mercen's Worth, I think. It's probably going to make a lot of money. Yeah, in the long run it will. Let's get in Enmahad. Let's see, where is Enmahad? Down here somewhere? Yeah. Let's get... Mining network is quite good. On the other hand, we just want trade everywhere now. Because we're going to have so much use of it. Mataram, let's get a tomb. And that's all we could upgrade for this turn. Uh, you are going to stay in the fort for now. I really need some ships to just get rid of these ships for good. Let's get these guys as well. And I think I'm going to send these guys up north. These are just going to attack uh, this place over here. Wind here in the hour. Oh, it's actually completely empty. Ships ready. We could just have, yeah, we can just ship off these two units, actually. And that's actually going to be sufficient enough, I think. Because then we're going to have stuff on all the fronts. Or cities on all the sides of the sea. That's going to bring in so much money in the long run. These guys were headed for the fort. You can disband. These guys are kind of close. Let's send them to the fort with the other glorious units. Just saving them there. 
And that was, yeah. Let's end the turn. Let's hope that through no, no, that the Barracks of Khan don't attack. Come on. You just sided with the, the E-Study and Gondor and all Amroth. Gotta let me... Gotta let me weaken Mordor for you. That would be so nice, going to Mordor with uh, the Varags of Khan on our backs. That would be really interesting, actually. That wouldn't happen in a lot of campaigns. But now they might very well just attack us, and things could go very bad from this side. Let's see now what they will do. Yes, they're heading back, and we're going to ask them for an alliance. That's wonderful. That's just what we want. Rumors of the East Eddy. I actually think that Mordor is going to attack. Uh, oh no, Sir Lazakan is already lost. Let's send this uh, spy down here. And we're going to see if we cannot take back Sir Lazakan and get it in the name of the wine, to be honest. Let's just build another tower here. Yes. This tower will keep Oh, let's, that might have been stupid. I don't think they're going to attack him though. Strong dust. Because this is, after all, our land. Yeah. Strondust, alright. Where is Strondust? And what? They only have this guy inside. We still gotta wait another turn, though. Send these guys back. And now we finally got a general here. I am going to send him south. I think we need some generals around in these parts. March to exhaustion, continuing later. Your will or should yes, we just Lord. let him be? No, we do. Lord. Of course, we have this general. Yes, my so we don't really need any general down here. But I guess we could send these will, troops my somewhere. My let's send these guys to the fort as well. As you wish. We can go no Austin and Othlebed. Today, I'm just really going to enjoy some a little pause where I just uh, build stuff. To be honest. But we probably want to get the Thumb first and then get the land clearance. Austin Airy and the other city was, I don't remember at the time. Let's get the port right after this death part. If we just a little bit smart now, we don't have to check this out every time. Let's get the ship right here. Let's get the port here. This is the port here and the port here. We're just going to get so much trade out of this. Do we need these guys at the moment? I don't know. These guys can be sent to the fort. Theudamir. And we're going to build more watchtowers here. As you wish. Erecting a watchtower. Wonderful. Warfest one more turn. We'll get the Great Hall. It's fine. Ostinari, we have already pre-built Othlebed. Let's perhaps get the mines. Why not? I don't see any reason for why not at this point. Let's just get them. We're still having so much money. It's really joyous. Let's get the market upgrade next turn. Now we might want to start preparing for Your an assault on Mordor. Considering we have so much money. Yeah, there's no reason to not prepare an assault to be honest. Let's just get all the units we can over here. Let's get this ship as well. Just to be able to get rid of these. Annoying buggers. Orders. And we can attack here now. As you wish. Marching no, to one more turn. The siege goes as planned. Still going to be a while until we can recruit stuff from here. So our recruitment center is going to rely on Santa Nui and Karasant for the meantime. Let's just build a large stack, to be honest. With lots of cavalry and... The best units we can field. That's going to be what we're going to do. Let's get these guys. Let's end the turn. Just going to be building up our settlements. Getting an insane economy. And then attacking Mordor. And going straight for Barador. Pretty fast. Like when you attack Mordor from this side. It's not really a challenge. Because you attack them so quickly. At Barador. That they can't really do that much. But we're now soon approaching the elven and human choice. Which I haven't decided what to do about yet. I've heard a lot of people saying that there's no way this about the human choice. 
So I'm really thinking about going for them. On the other hand, I love Elven Elites. So it's not easy to know what to do. Alright, we got a lot of shit here. Yes, my lord. Yeah, they're definitely headed down here. Let's see if Mother holds this place now. And we might see the Inquisitor over there. This town your will, my lord. Orders. We'll make can swap up some of those cavalry. Mother is doing very good now. Let's get rid of these. I just never remember where I build stuff or not. To war, then. There we go. Sack the settlement. And we actually got the ballista. That's funny. Well, that's fine. We could actually use a ballista. Just go down and take that fort. And over here, let's just go for the trading post. I think that could be quite useful for us. Lord Swain could honestly, yeah, he needs to build another tower here though. As you wish. But I think Directing he could use yes. a little scouting over here. Let's get all of these troops. This is a really good recruitment center to be honest. Your will, my lord. Let's my just lord. send them down to this spot as well. As you wish. March to and in Karasan we're also them. getting troops. Let's get both of those when we can. Are we actually spending a little bit too much money now? We still want to build stuff. Yeah. Let's wait a little bit in Santa Anui as well. Can just barely not afford it. We're auto building a lot of stuff though, that's why we're not building that much. Yeah, we're just going to let it wait one turn. I guess we can just recruit here anyways then. And these guys will go inside. We'll have a nice fort right there. Still making 12 grand with all these troops outside. And Nurov is just standing very idle in this uh, settlement right here. But sending him against Mordor already. But we do have these forces backing up. Like, they will show up in not too long. On the other hand, they could very easily attack En Mahad. Which isn't that heavily defended. Let's send out these guys and we'll actually head out and assault Mordor. We'll see if these armies <laughs> enough though. It's not that strong. But if we just start recruiting a lot of units, it should be more than doable. Let's get My this uh, diplomat down to Khan. Tomorrow's journey planned. So hold now. gap. Yes, my lord. Nurva one and Nurva two, or Nurva one and Nurva two. Lord. That's more like it. After we took Winter in the hour, now that should just further strengthen the. The income here and if we build ports now it's going to skyrocket in money i think like mistron is basically one of the best money makers in the game when you build ports around the whole place and prosperous the kingdom of darwin and came became or the whale it's no longer a whale it's more like the kingdom of the winning Enemy fleet engaging. Ah, Jesus. We Just as we were preparing another the fleet as well. No mercy. We can go no Let's just further. get the merchant skills. That's going to increase our ah, target Mordor. But that's with trade. We're not going to trade with Mordor, though. That's not how we fare. Your orders, my lord. And that's going to be a nice a little host. army. Yes, my lord. Heading out for the yes, Mordor. Let's see Approaching down here. They did take this settlement down here. Still a lot I can't. Okay, we got the ship now. Let's bring the ship Ships together. Running. And where is the ships now? Process. Down here. Me be. Uh, he's getting a star even. He's assaulted us so many times now. Let's get the ship right. Still getting the standing stones. Yes. 
Yeah, I'm still making 13,000. And Mahad and Strondost. Let's get a trading post. And Strondost. It is up. Where is Strondost, everybody? Where is Strondost? It is right here. We're getting the ship right, right away. We're the largest factions. The faction. Wonderful. Let's get the Grand Exchange here as well. And just will, keep growing those troops, boys. My Let's Lord. send these guys as well. By your command. Your orders. Yes. Yeah, you can just By keep going command, and you will keep going as well. Yes. Yes, my lord. It would be nice to actually use these troops though. They were just some upkeep we didn't really bother with. I built the chicken farm here to upgrade this place eventually. At least hoping to do so. Let's repair that as well. I and let's just check me. one more time if we can build any more ships around here somewhere. Now as we're getting all of these ports it shouldn't be a problem in a while. Alright, we forgot to build the tower there but that's no worry at all. We might actually approach the choice today though. I didn't really expect that. Because I think the time is going... Ah, wonderful. I was actually thinking about doing this. But now it's just... No worry. Yeah, alright. I'm fine with that. But now our <laughs> income is probably going to increase even more. As we have allied with the Dwarves of Erebor. Should probably head out and get more trade with... Uh, other factions as well. We'll see uh, see who we are already having trade rights with and who we do not have trade rights with. Hmm. Barracks of Khand. I'm glad they didn't attack and I'm very glad they des decided to stay with the East Daddy. Alright, let's get this one. You guys, will, you guys are going down here. Edebor besieged. Wow, they're probably struggling pretty hard with uh, Gundabad, I suppose. Alliance announced. That's just us. Karvarad, more troops. Oh, just look at Sant Anui. It just out of nowhere, it the income just skyrocketed. I think we'll get the ship right now. Wow. And we should definitely get uh, these ships uh, off here. Just going to let this uh, army go together. I think that's more efficient. Or more like it. Let's build a tower right here. And let's just go all the way over here and then head inside Mordor. Without question. And ah, Alatar the Blue is right here. At Amul Khan. Look at this army. That's why I want to play Khan someday, boys and girls. So lots of Khan. Yes, my lord. Your orders. Let's build another tower here. Let's probably head him back now, or we could just build even more towers down there. Actually, yes, my lord. Just why not? Build some towers here and a tower here. Let's get some more towers over here on the border. Continuing tomorrow. And we got a lot of stuff built now, the Burka. Can wait a little bit there. And I just forgot where we built stuff, but that's fine. Karasant, uh, let's send these guys with these guys. Vintir and are still just building the standing stones. We're going to make so much money in not too long. Like, we're already making much, but it's going to be the definition of much. Alright. We do have some trash units here, but still we have a lot of cavalry. Which is more than capable of uh, dealing some damage. Which is more than to make us realize how many troops we actually have. So we don't underestimate the enemy. That's more like it. It's not a really strong force. 
but it will do. We can get these guys as well and just head them out in the next turn. Yeah, let's just get him down here. Little nice addition. Two upkeep. And these guys, we don't need both of those at this island. Just going to build one of those and we're going to completely spam these guys. Let's just save some more money. What about here? Yeah, we actually need both of the units. End the turn again. We could send some help towards Edeboy by the river, but I don't think it's worth it. I'd much rather focus on Mordor now. Just bring down the main enemy. Once we have thrown Mordor out of this, like, I really want to get um, Minas Ethil because we can, or Minas Morgul, because we can actually recruit Minas Ethel Gardens out of there. Interestingly enough. Haven Master of Umbar is dead. Let's get the Merchant Guild. Minas Morgul liberated. Minas Moran on Besiege again, wow. We are really doing fine here. Your will, my lord. Then these guys just command. head down south. Yes, my lord. My lord. Joining forces, my lord. Your will, my lord. As you wish. That's going to be a nice lord. addition. Yes, my lord. Elga and Ruba. Elga is building already. And what about to Rubar? Building as well. Yeah, the money is starting to go up here. But we're not making us... Yeah, we're still making so much money. We're just auto-building a lot of stuff and that's why. Oh, we completely forgot about these guys. Head them out. Bring them down to the south. That's not even going to inflict much casualties on our income. Casualties or not. That's a dumb way to say it. My lord. Orders. Your orders, my Guess lord. we could send these guys with uh, this army. Or perhaps it was Your will, my lord. this army we want to send them with. Will, That's fine. We'll make camp here. Varfest will have some more culture here eventually. And then we can recruit some other units as well. It looks like they were able to repel force over there. Let's get Orders. another tower up here. As you wish. Erecting a watchtower. We need to be prepared over here. We only have this one. We can only have one upkeep, yeah. We definitely probably need to get the town guard here. Just to make sure we are prepared once Dolgaldor decides to attack us. Of course these recruitments are just going to heavily help us out. And we do have Ilanin as well, which we can recruit a couple of troops in. I'm going to actually replace these three units with these units I'm recruiting here. Just to have a couple more of the stronger forces. I think we just gotta keep recruiting units and just letting... Let's see who makes, yeah. I just want to keep recruiting units and just send them down towards um, Mordor. We need to get one more ship before we I attack this uh, this fleet though. They aren't that. They are pretty powerful. I should get rid of them actually. Yeah, we gotta wait a little bit more. And you are still making towers. Yes, my lord. But you gotta make Your towers over here. Lord. Let's see if we are yes, finally hitting... Yes. Yeah, there we go. Tomorrow's Next turn we'll get an alliance. Let's lord. see here if we can find the Inquisitor. Alatar the blue. Just look at this army. It's so great. Approaching and Encounter is still holding here. But they're probably going to get some trouble once uh, Alatar comes. The they might actually be able to repel... Uh, and Ankanta, which is yes, my lord. That usually doesn't happen, but we'll see what really happens. Yes, my lord. 
It's less just establishing perfect economy before the backs went so that we can just get a lot of elites right away when we want to. Culture and trade just going up every turn, helping us out more and more. The Ruinian have proved to be a much more interesting faction that than, than I originally thought of. And they have a lot of diversity in their troops in the end game, I think. Uh, still, we, we gotta get rid of those uh, ships. They're causing so much trouble for us. Wandering is in Kandrum. Well, that's not going to be of interest. This army is right away and it's going to be able to help Nuva quite early on. Alright. Let's get the alliance, map information, map information. Yeah, they accepted it. Wonderful. Probably going to bring us even more money now. I accept. Our discussions come to a close. Nice. As you wish. Stop ah, we got the merchants worth in Karasant now. If only we could bring down that those ships. Now, what should we go for next? Probably some trade related building. Even though a large hall would be quite useful as well. Now, I'm going I'm still going to go for the or actually, I kind of want to get uh, some uh, armor upgrades on the troops we recruit here. Don't want this to be a completely idle place. Your will, my lord. Send these by guys down. The Kingdom of Gondor is now the largest factions. This keeps shifting in every way. Let's get a grain exchange. Yeah, let's sweat a little bit. Let's make sure we are building stuff everywhere. Uh, all of these parts are going to finish in about the same time. That's going to be a deadly boost to our economy. What about over here? Is Mother not uh, doing anything yet? My Lord. Need our yes. tower here. A watch I'm not really tower. trusting uh, Dolgogar. We have very well, few forces on our settlements here as, as well. These guys are going down here. We'll have so many armies incoming. I think we can take more than an onslaught. Karvarad will build the trading post afterwards. You're still building the port. Eight more turns. Eleven more turns. Three more turns. Can we uh, recruit a mercenary, Kog? Yeah, we can actually. We're going to do that next turn. And then we're going to bring down these buggers, which is probably hitting our income very severely. My master despises you. Okay. We'll be on this way. My lord. Yes, my lord. The spy. My lord. Why is he not going for Solatakand? This is why. Our alliance This is why the mother keeps getting Solatakand in this campaign. So stupid. It's probably because of all of those temple wards having so much. Uh, or they're pretty good in the altar soul. But Alatar had a large army as well. Should be able to do something. But that uh, army is probably going to head into uh, some south on territory and do some damage. Independent realms. Red Manarikas. Ah, we are already here. Wow. Our realm houses many of the creations of Ilarato, but the time has come. I'm going to let you guys uh, read through this. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so I, I have been thinking about this. And I think we're going to go for the, the human choice. I know a lot of you guys want the elven choice. But as a lot of you guys state out in the comments, there are almost no uh, Darwinian campaigns where they're actually choosing the human choice. And I already have been playing some some campaigns with the elves, of course, the Wooden Realm campaign. And I wish to play more campaigns with the elves uh, in the future, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. And I really want to see... I really want to see the human choice, to be honest. That's just what I feel myself. 
I'm sorry, even though the elves won the world, I'm going to go for the human choice. Just because I think they are underdone and the elves are overdone. And I want to see, yeah, something else. Uh, so I'm sorry, uh, some of you guys will not like this, but it we're still going to see some real, really good um, units. And we still have Nurve, and this is Bodyguard, of course. So, we're going to push Accept. Belfalas besieged. Karasant Ilan in last. We got some troops built. I actually wasn't prepared for this script uh, in this turn, but uh, in this episode, but that's fine. Let's get these guys down here. Yes. And Nurve is almost at. Uh, ah! And Warlord Orash is probably going to attack. And we're going to fight alongside the Varags of Khand. That is wonderful. Let's get them all down here. As you wish. You as well are headed on their way. And Wine Lord Swain should probably head up towards yes. Santa Anui, take Continuing up tomorrow. place there. Let's now recruit this Lord, mercenary cog. Concealing the troops by and head back to Mistran. And you are going to bring down Admiral Abakai. Ab Abakai. Let's bring these troops down south. We're really going to get a large army against Mordor. Just look at all the troops we're sending. And if we just keep streaming out units in it like we are doing now, we're going to get so much done there, I'm certain. Uh, we can actually recruit the Farun mercenaries now. It's on the cell side. I really want to recruit the Farun mercenaries. That's a new mercenary unit in this patch. Definitely want to see some action from those. And they are quite good as well, if uh, I'm not mistaken. So, I don't think this uh, choice has hit us just yet. But it's going to hit us once the barracks are hits. If I am correct. Let's get rid of these. There we have some greater upkeep units. And we'll be able to recruit some elites here as well. That's good. Very, very good. Your orders. Nurve can just yes. head into Mordor and see what is going on there. Where's our here. spy down here? Ah, he's actually besieging Sulatza Khan now. I still think he's not going to be successful just because they usually aren't. Even though I see no reason for this army to lose against these guys. Varks of Khan is definitely one of the factions I want to play next. Uh, I really want to play the Amrath and the Varax of Kant, I think, as the next factions. But it's not uh, hard to decide, of course. And I also want to start making a lot more lore videos, and I definitely want to... But that's going to happen in the summer, because I have these exams now, and I can't really take the time to bring up those videos, because it takes a long time to make them. I at least want to see one Mordor settlement taken down this episode. Ah, they're going to attack again, but that's fine. We now have these ships to bring ships them down. Ready. What is this shit? What is this crap? This is so annoying. And they're causing so much trouble for us. Like, we are losing every other soul that there is. And I don't know how we're going to do this. We don't have the ships to take them down. And that's going to cause so much pain on our trade. That's so stupid. I can barely believe it. Santa Ami, more forces. And we got the port up here now. Let's get the ship right. Right away. Ah, oh, we can recruit some ships here. Good. We'll of course be able to recruit a lot of those ships because we're building shipwrights and ports all the way around. Yeah, just look at this. It's completely madness. Let's get these guys. Bring them down. And let's see what we got over here. They're moving much faster than us though. But the uh, settlement is right here. I hope yes, that Khan is already sieging them out and that we can just come in and help. Or actually, I want to, us to get the settlement. But Khan might be able to bring them down for us. 
Let's build a couple more tower towers around Lord, here. My Lord. Yes. This tower Still only sell swords. And they were actually defeated or did they just quiet. leave? Approaching quiet. I don't think it said anything about them. That's really weird though. Impossible. Let's just send them back and you are going to murder. Let's end the turn. We're soon going to see the barracks event. But I am not looking forward to playing against the Dolgodor. I really hate playing against them. They're just a copy of Mordor, to be honest. And they're able to field much more troops as well. A real pain in the ass. And it just stack spam and stack spam and stack spam. But we'll bring some real elite armies and bring them down and sweep. That's my plan. Attack them suddenly and swift. Alright. These ships are here again. Let's get the, the ships now. War declared dominion of Asgard, clans of Enewaith. We can soon start recruiting units in, in Misra now. And these guys, actually just the cavalry. You guys are headed straight in here. Yes, my lord. And they have already taken Sedegost. But a door is ours for the taking, boys. And girls, let's uh, bring these guys wish. down. My lord, by your orders, as you wish. Vargs of Khan, we are allied, though. So it shouldn't be a problem. Your will, my, my lord. Your we should probably give them military access or something. That could actually help, I think. Or we do have this spy around here as well. Approaching but that is quiet. in Mordor's land, of course. I don't think spies increase yes, my lord. bad With stuff. Honor, Let's get them over there. <laughs> we can just hit yes, Baradur right away, to be yes, honest. I don't think that well, army is sufficient enough though. But we do have all of these Your armies orders. incoming. But uh, we did have two large armies, didn't we? Your this will, one and where's the other one? Ah, it's all the way up here. Mataram and Warfest. Let's get this one. We can actually get Athala Rangers here. That's cool. And Mataram. Probably want to get the Town Guard at this point to be able to field troops much closer to Mordor. Let's bring this ship back. The port. Let's recruit all the ships we can everywhere. Which we are already doing. Let's just get a uh, upkeep unit. Yeah, we already have that. I suppose we could get more cavalry sent down towards um, Mordor. Still making so much money. Kingdom of Dale. I hope we have trade rights with them already. Yeah, I think they're just trying to bribe us. The usual stupid AI stuff. Ah, oh, there's actually a chip up here as well we can bring down. Or no, we actually recruited it just right away now. That's why. But I don't really understand how we're going to be able to take down those enemy ships. I think we need so many ships to do it. Because even when we outnumber them, we are crushing the feet. I don't really see the reason why. There's something I'm missing, probably. Yes, my lord. All right, still under these guys. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Your orders, my lord. There we go. This tower and will just head up again. Over the lands. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. the longship. Ships ready. Let's send it here. We can go no Where is further. the? Oh, they're right there. Losing like 800 a turn just because of those stupid ships. Can't believe it. One more turn and we'll get a lot more. Less and Mr. Ant should be able to recruit it now. Yeah, in a while at least. Let's go straight for the merchant's worth. These guys will wait a little bit. Let's get the merchant's worth here as well. Let's get more units. 
Let's send the units we got. These guys will just pass into the lands. I'm going to head straight for Baradur. Uh, we're just going to avoid them for a little bit. Because we're still not at war, of course. It's because we're marching yes, through their lands. As you wish, my lord. Uh, it's because we have a lot of troops in the lands, actually. Your will, my lord. This is just going As to make it even worse. I think you need military access for that to not happen, actually. And I haven't realized that before now. Yes. March to exhaustion, continuing later. Yeah, we want to hit the barracks when soon now. It's just a matter of time. This full army cavalry stack. Just head down. As you wish. We'll make camp Nothing happening happening at our borders just yet. Let's get this uh, town guard, I think. And at Warfest, we're already getting these guys. Oh, they're now at our lands. Let's uh, grab a couple of these. And let's hope they don't attack. I just don't want this war, Dolgular. Come on, you stupid buggers. Come on, this is going to be stupid. Jeez, let's get them down here. Now we got a deal on two fronts, but that's fine. We have enough. I've lost a sense of time for this episode now. It's been such a long uh, episode. Just micromanaging, so I don't have a sense of time. I should probably take a little break soon and just check. I really wanted to see some action though. I think we can start besieging Baradur before we end the episode properly. I don't think Mori is going to expect Baradur under siege right now. That's going to come as a shock to them. But that's actually uh, the Varag's hold that weed settlement is going to be annoying for us. It's nice that they're helping us, but. That's not really what I wanted in that yes, my lord. kind of matter. Without question, I shall uh, continue tomorrow. Ah, they have a lot tomorrow. of here. Uh, they have a pretty Lord's efficient force lord. here. We're pro we might be going to our tomb right here, uh, but we have a lot of cavalry. Wow, that was a lot built. Yeah, look at this money now, and another ship. Uh, and we can't help this ship now. I the spice I, these three ships, I would think were enough, but I think the AI is going to prove us wrong here. So I'm still going to wait to get another ship before I do anything else. Let's get more trade around here. Communal farming is probably fine. We can get the Athal Rangers here as well. Ah, uh, that's probably because of the human choice. I might be wrong though. I think it's that. My lord. Your will, my lord. Your orders. Orders. Yes. March to your will, my lord. Right, Elder Car, let's As get you, you down here. Our troops is going to stream in. And if we take Baradur, it's not going my to be lord. an issue for us. Yes. Because we have all of we'll these troops camping, coming in. And it's we can't get there. Yeah, it's going to be a nice ride. Now, what did Dolguldor do? Yeah, they backed off those buggers. Beautiful. As you wish. I think it's actually going to be worth having these two guys here just to prevent Dolguldor from attacking us. I'm going to sacrifice 300 coins for not having to attack Dolguldor. Okay, I'm just going to quickly check how long this yes, episode have been going for. I believe Lord, we have been doing... This yeah, been holding up for a long time now. Just let me check that really quickly. Alright, we have time for like Lord, one or two turns. And then it's going to be it. <laughs> but Adur is com completely empty. Let's see if these guys attack us. I don't think they're going to do it. Uh, yeah. Let's end the turn again. If we cannot build anything here. This ship, though, I don't want to lose it either. Let's just place it on the port for now. And let's get more. Oh, we can actually upgrade this place. Let's get the blacksmith here. 
It's probably going to be our recruitment center eventually. Send more cavalry down south. We're going to have such a large force uh, assembling down in south. We're sending a unit every turn. And once these armies go down, we're going to earn so much money. Because we're not really losing money even though we are sending so many units down south. And that's because our ports are bringing in so much money. Eventually I want to buy all the settlements in Middle Earth with our ship money. Or with our port money is rather correctly. Alright. Trendus Hall's besiege. Heartlands of the Harad Marine. That's not good. Yes, They're probably no. doing good against Khan. Military access. Alright, let's just give them military access. I think that is going to be... Uh, that we're not going to lose any... Like that these troops are not going to be mad now. Ah, they are right outside here. That's great. But, uh, ah, we don't actually want these guys to be attacked. Let's send them back. Let's hope they just assault Serigos and that can't yes, loses it. Yes. Ah, Baradur is within reach. One turn. Thorn crossbowmen. We still have these troops uh, gathering. We're going to make a large army now, though. Just uh, putting these all of these troops together. Next turn, Sant Anui and Vintiru Niaur. Let's get this. And Sant Anui. Let's. Oh, 5,000. This settlement is worthy. Or is wealthy. Let's see how much our money is going to increase when we build this. Yeah. Like 500 just there. And probably much more as well. Wow, this settlement is making so much money. And these guys are back again. Is that what you want? Jesus. Gotta build some more troops here. A recruit. Alright, one more turn. I want to see Mordor. Uh, really just... Under siege by us. That's going to be funny. And they realize that they have like so many troops over here. Just fighting for this lone settlement that doesn't really mean anything and then they have Barad-dur under siege Whale of the Ruin is really a money making faction they're making so much money ah oh, these diplomats is starting to bothering me the next episode is probably going to be very exciting I'm sorry if this have just been like, it's just been a lot of trade and such, not and just building, not a lot of stuff happened. But uh, I guess that's fine as well. We gotta have some of these chill episodes. And I know a lot of you guys just enjoy the campaign map of the side. The side of the campaign map, rather than the battle map. But to those of you who favor the battle map, you will see some action in the next episode, of course. Ah, that's what we want. I'm just going to let them bring those down, actually. Just let them take down Sergos. What an ally am I? Ah, Uvatha and the Witch King. You don't expect Baradur to be assaulted now, do you? Ah. Yes, my lord. And it is war. Baradur the siege. Just right away. We have even reached Mount Doom. This force is not strong enough to assault Badr, but I'm just waiting for them to gather a lot of troops around. And I think this army could, yeah, I think it could hold up pretty well. Alright. Yeah, and this is going to be a nice addition. Off the bed. Let's just finish. We can't even build anything else here now. Just got a way to upgrade it. Okay, I think uh, yeah, we can take a little break here. Your will, my lord. Yes. We'll 
might camp here. Oh, we probably Arch need them there just so that they don't attack. Later. Now, Since where's this ship? Can we recruit any more ships now? Ships ready. But we can send these guys down. Joining the fleet. And as soon as we get another ship, these guys will be utterly devastated. But I these guys have gotten so many stars as well. But long ships aren't that good as far as I'm concerned. Your orders, my Can we recruit anything else now? With honor. Orders. As you wish. Yes, my lord. I think Thor Thorthwin can yes. build another tower here. Then he can head the over here. Because Sedagos will probably will be, be taken. But uh I think Khan will do pretty well in the Ultra Soul, considering they are, of course, cavalry, have a lot of cavalry, which tend to do very greatly in the Ultra Souls. I'm just going to end one more turn, see if they attack us at Parador. It's going to be interesting to see. Maybe they will even abandon Seragos and just head back. I think the cavalry we have in that army is going to be so vital. But I think we can take on Mother pretty quickly when we get those troops. And look at our money, 17,000. And we're ready for, ready to start building some barracks now. Let's hope the barracks event hits us right now. The Dwarven King is dead. That is not good. Yeah, the barracks event hit us. And look at this. Erebor falls. That's not good at all. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, attacking Gastuf is going to be, Your orders, if they're going to sell out then. We're going to have to take a As look at that. On. Let's see. They will have so many troops. Yes, if we attack Gastuf. Yeah, that's, we're going to capture Bardur next uh, episode. That's going to be a nice ride. Alright, but now we are once again just going beyond time and thought. And just enjoying the campaign we're making. Oh, we're making so much money now. Ambakai, can you just leave me alone, will you? Alright, we're going to start building stuff here now. I think Karasant is a good place to start. What do we want to get though? Paladins of the Witner Court, I think they're really good. So we're going to go for the Knight Stables. We do want to get more, more of these. Yeah, I'll definitely get this over here. Let's get the town guard as well. And stables, we just want to upgrade those as soon as we can. And we can actually get them uh, in Varfes as well, which is great. Let's get the barracks here. Let's see what we can get out of the archer range. The regions, or the, yeah, the regions Bogard, they have an insane amount of crossbow damage, I think. Their missile attack is very high, I think. Yes. As you wish. Right, so just very quickly. I don't think Dolgolor is going to attack us at the moment. But yeah, I think that is a way to end this episode. We're going to see very, very much action in the next episode. No doubt about it. Just going to let these guys siege them out. And we're just not going to care much about them. I think we can just... We might even be able to go past if we're lucky. But this is, of course, going to be the interesting part. Uh, capturing Bad during the next episode. And having the back event in the same episode. So I think it really looks like the next episode is going to be one hell of an episode. That's deserved after this waiting game this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed even though it was a lot of the battle map. I mean the campaign map. Leave a like. Subscribe. And support me via Patreon if you like. And I will see you guys for a hell of an episode. Um, yeah. I'll see you there.